Hey guys, today we're going to check out the BV Tech 18 port PoE Plus switch. This is a 16 port 10 slash 100 PoE Plus switch and has two ports that are gigabit and can be used as uplink ports. Max output is 130 watts with up to 30 watts per port and the ports are auto sensing. Before we jump to the unboxing, let's talk about why I decided to purchase this switch. The first reason is because I need something that costs less than the standard Cisco switches that I normally use. The second reason is that I need a backup switch. Sometimes the Cisco switches are not always in stock so I need something else that I can get in a couple of days. I will be testing this switch for at least 6 months to a year. If this switch can stay active without freezing or having any kind of performance issues, I will start using them in small deployments. Alright, we have a nice generic box labeled Ethernet switch and the types of PoE standards that are supported. Everything appears to be packed nicely so there's a good chance everything is going to arrive in a working state. The two page manual indicates the various PoE modes, standards supported, operating temperatures and what the LED indicators mean. The accessories pack includes the plastic feed if you want to use this as a desktop switch and it also includes the screws to mount the brackets. We have the left and right brackets. They feel rough like sandpaper texture and the edges feel a little sharp. They feel a little on the cheap end, not much weight to them. And we have the standard power cable. I prefer the L-shaped plug for switches. Sometimes it just gives you a little extra space savings. Alright, and we finally have the switch. It's nicely packed in styrofoam in a protective layer of plastic. The uh, switch weighs in at 3.5 pounds. And just like the uh, brackets, the finish of this feels a little rough like sandpaper. I would prefer if the finish was a little bit smoother, but it's not going to be a deal breaker. The back of the unit shows vent holes for a fan, but this unit is passively cooled. There are no fans inside. The PoE ports have the orange outline and the two gigabit ports have the green outline. And on the left hand side of the unit we have the LED port status indicators. Overall the uh, switch is nicely uh, designed and has a good color scheme. And we have reached the point where we plug it in and it lights up nicely. This switch is unmanaged. There is nothing for us to configure here. Everything is just plug and play. The first thing I plugged in was my Cisco A port switch. This switch can be powered by PoE through the first port. And everything lights up, looks good. The second item I plugged in was my Cisco access point and that lit up nicely as well. The other items I wanted to check were the uh, Cisco 504G. This is a very popular PoE phone and this lit up nicely as well. And the other phone I wanted to test was an old Nortel phone. You can still find these as rebranded Avaya phones. Also very popular and it also lit up nicely. Normally I would end the video here but I decided let's just open it up and see what's inside. I'm not sure of the quality components here, but everything looks like it's laid out nicely. As I mentioned before, there is no fan in this unit. I believe the 28 port switches do have fans and may be a little noisy. 
I specifically chose this one because it didn't have a fan. One minor complaint that I have with the switch that I received is that it didn't have enough screws for all the mounting holes to connect the brackets. It came with four, but you actually need eight. I was lucky that I had some leftover super micro screws uh, with the right threading, so I was actually able to connect all the brackets properly. And we're done. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1000. Thank you.